purpose of Stupinian. And again, a Stupinian. It's his goal from right in front of goal. And there is no flag. And the seagull saw. And Arsenal are stunned. Trossard caught on it. And it's come down for Undav. Perhaps, perhaps the beginning of the end. That may be Arsenal done. Brighton brimming over. They are a beautiful, beautiful football team. And they are worthy of this imminent victory. But Arsenal are crestfallen. The silver medal that they have seems now never to be fated to turn gold. Jimmy Robert with that leggy running style. Undav beaten out to Estupinian! The would-be champions are crushed on their own patch. As Brighton reach for the skies. They're just a smiling delight. Ramsdale's grey features tell the Arsenal story. The day it got away. It is all but Manchester City's. The low sun of early summer begins to set on Arsenal's beautiful journey. Their exhilarating adventure is near its end. They have been sweet and decorative and determined. They have been a joy to behold in this season's Premier League race. But as it comes to the final lap, they have fallen short and they know it. Hands on knees, heads in hands. Applause without verve. A knowing look into the distance. What might have been and what cannot now surely be. Roberto De Zerbi has reason for immense pride in his young team. They were delicious today. No sense of inferiority. A complete togetherness and athleticism, a fitness, a fizz, an effervescence which marks them out. They are one to watch and they will decorate Europe too when their turn comes. And Ciso, Undav, Estupinian at the end. Brighton won and Brighton won that comfortably. They have Europe to relish. Arsenal have to relish only the dying embers of what once was a roaring fire. They must remember the warm days. Brighton's celebrations are ongoing. Arsenal's celebrations were fated never to be. And Rebecca, by this time next weekend, Manchester City may well be champions.